Hey guys, it's TechGuy276. Um, I haven't actually made a video in quite a long time. There's not really been a reason to. Um, I'm here to talk about the Oculus Quest. I'm here to talk about the VR headsets and the, and the VR covers that I'm getting off Amazon. Um, I'm only making this video because I can make an informed decision of I'm not paid by anybody. By obviously, I've not made a video in quite a long time, so I shouldn't be paid. Um, but I have been buying VR covers off Amazon, and thankfully, Amazon offer a great return policy. And the reason why Amazon have a great return policy, because would you be happy buying something that isn't really that great in the first place? Um, so I'm here to talk about the Oculus Quest. The Oculus Quest comes with a foam a facial interface, which is good for short play sessions but after a long time you might be playing Beat Saber, you might be playing Thrill of the Fight and you start to work up a sweat and the foam interface acts like a sponge and if you don't wipe it properly or if you don't or even even if even if you wipe it properly and you don't dry it properly you're gonna end up either with a rash or a, a, quite a large red mark around the area um, so I've been looking online to rectify that problem, trying to find the VR covers that are suitable for me, for my head, because, as people will say, I've got a big head. So, I bought two, um, well, actually I bought three and returned one of them. One of them was a silicone one, which was really good, um, but it didn't get me quite immersed, and it was also quite expensive for what it was. It, I paid £20 for it. And it was just really just something that would soak up the sweat. And I thought, I, I, it's not worth £20, this. So I've bought two. Uh, one of them I have actually put in the original packaging because I do plan on returning it to Amazon today. Um, let me just see what the name is. So it's the VR Facial Interface uh, for Quest Accessories. Uh, I will put a link in the description, but I don't recommend buying it at all. So with this product, you get... You get a facial interface that clicks onto your quest, like that. So it clicks into the actual uh, quest itself. Uh, then you get one, so you get two facial foam pads. One is an 8mm foam pad, which is quite slim. Uh, so that makes you more immersed in the action, in the games that you play in, or the movies that you're watching at the cinema, for example. And then the other one is... Uh, 12 millimeters, which is it has got, it has got more foam in. This is for uh, more for comfort, really, not for really immersion, uh, as it cuts off your field of view. Uh, and then in the also the thing as well, you get uh, lens protectors and you get two nose grips. Uh, so the nose grips that one is the smallest one, and that doesn't actually fit over this. So I've tried my hardest to try and get it on. Uh, honestly, I've tried. Uh, I've tried holding it down. I've got my partner to help me out with it, trying to get it onto the actual facial interface itself. It doesn't stay on, but the larger one does, and it has a lot of flexibility. And the reason why I'm talking about the nose grips is as well. It comes with the package, but within. Within maybe 10 minutes of playing Beat Saber, 5 to 10 minutes of playing Beat Saber, um, if you were the nose grips, the lenses fog up virtually straight away. Um, it's and there isn't the it's all right for the venting, so you can see, you can see right there there's a vent and it because the vents are at a right angle, it blocks out most of the light. Um, but with the nose grips, I find that area quite there gets quite hot pretty quickly and because of the sweat and because of the heat coming off your eyes and your face just fogs up the lens and you've got to stop the mute stop the song in beat saber take off your headset wipe it down with the uh, with the um, cloth that i have and then resume it and it's it's annoying that you can't just have a good ventilation system in this um so th there's a reason why it's back in the box. There's a reason why it's going back to Amazon because I want my money back. Uh, I've used it for quite a, quite about a week now, and I'm just not happy with it. It's uh, because of the uh, ten, because of the eight millimeter one. It's good for it's good for 
half an hour if you can get over the anti uh, uh, the fog on the lenses. But after a long, after quite a bit, um, because you've you've been wearing it for quite a long time, you have you really start to feel the plastic of the facial interface against your face, and you become worse off after uh, your session of VR gaming is over. Um, other than the, the the actual foam pad that comes with the Quest, um, it is it, it is okay, but it's not worth the money I paid for it. Um, yeah, I wouldn't recommend getting this kit. It was twenty pounds on Amazon. Um, I've had it for a week, and thankfully they are allowing me to return it uh, free of charge because I am not happy with the quality of this product. Um, I'm not. Uh, I haven't bought the actual official VR cover um, VR cover yet because it's. Uh, I've heard that there's shipping delays. I've heard that there's no return policy, and I'm not trying to like buy something, try it out, and return it straight away. I actually want a genuinely comfortable VR cover accessories that will make me more immersed and also make it more comfortable whilst I'm watching movies that are able to easily wipe off. Um, yeah, I wouldn't recommend this. This was £20 and I thought, oh, it's a 6-in-1 kit. You get a lens protector, 8mm face cover, 12mm face cover, uh, a facial interface and two silicone pads. And I thought, oh, that's a good deal. It's £20 for 6-in-1. But no, it was um, the, the foam pads were flimsy um, and you couldn't actually wear the nose grip and the foam pad at the same time. The nose pad would overlap and there would be no grip with the nose pad. So yeah, it's um, I wouldn't recommend it. It's if you've got a big face, then it might work. And if you've got a if you if your blood is ice cold, then I would recommend it as well. If you're a vampire, then maybe I'd recommend it. But sadly, I don't think well VR games and stuff like that are immersing people in the outside world. So would vampires disintegrate into the outside world in VR? Um, yeah, I wouldn't recommend it at all. Um, it was okay, um, but it wasn't worth the price. Um, I just want something that makes me more immersed. Um, as I said, I will put the link in the description um, if you want to check it out, but I don't recommend it. Okay, thank you. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll cover the next video I will do later on when it eventually arrives is the AMVR headset. Um, that's similar to this one, um, but it's got better reviews on Amazon. It said it's more immersive. It says it's more uh, fog resistant. So let's just see where we, we, we will get up to in the next review and see how it tests out. All right. Thank you, guys, and see you all next time. Bye.